Japan's robot restaurant is one of the most popular restaurants in Tokyo. In your face, TGI Fridays! Minnesota Twins have a new beer vending machine at their stadium. Finally, Minnesota Twins fans have something to celebrate. And a British defense contractor released video showing us what aircraft for the military might look like in 25 years. I'm just glad Michael Bay wasn't involved. Transformium. <sighs> Ridiculous. This is Tomorrow Daily. Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the, the best daily tech talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Scather. Joining me as always, Rich DeMuro. What is going on? Hey, nothing. How's it going? Oh, so good. So it's been a good day. I say that every day. I realize so I, I watched the show yesterday. I realize I just say that every day. You know that phrase, happy cows come from California? Happy tech ghosts also come from California. That's what I think. That is very true. It's because they feed us cheese and... Well, I know about the cheese stuff. And yeah. I love cheese, too. Yeah, so maybe that's the secret? I don't know. But uh, we've got a lot to talk about today, so let's hit the headlines. There is a robot restaurant in Japan. We just love Japan, okay? Let's, let's get that right out of the way. Somebody might say that we're Japan biased. 100% yes. Fully admitted. Ashley, you, we might need to rename this show the Japan Show. <laughs> Guilty Japan as Daily. Japan Daily, yeah. Uh, well, they always have the coolest stuff, and this is one of them. It's a robot restaurant. It's kind of like a nightclub. This is like Las Vegas on crack. This is like Chuck E. Cheese for adults. Who love crazy robots and LED lights. Like, first of all, nobody with epilepsy can ever visit this nightclub. Like, number one, <laughs> ever. how could you walk by this place and not want to go in? Now, well, look at those ladies. They just stopped and were like, oh, we got to go in there. Given, there's a lot of stuff in Japan that has these flashing LED lights, casino kind of places, like yeah. gaming places. But this has the robots. And there's like, what, 20 of them? There's like well, different. Well, there's 20 like main robots. There's other robots <laughs> too. This is insane. It is. It's you adult guys. Chuck E. Cheese. It, I agree. Um, stimulation overload. The, look at the colors. Look at the lights. Look at the shows. I th now those look like real people. Those I think there's like entertainers. There's entertainers and there's robots. I think they were saying there's dancers that actually control some of the robots too. So it's like they get they get a two for one. So they have these entertainers who can dance and, and play these drums and stuff. And then they also have they go and control the robots. Okay. Oh, it so, gets a little spicy it's a little in there racy. too. It's Whoa. A little racy. But this is not a this is not like a an exotic not a, club. No, not a gentleman's okay. club. Uh, it's just like fun place for people to go and enjoy a crazy show at night. That obviously is way too much for my brain to handle. And look, robot fights. <laughs> and I, oh, that, okay, right there is worth the price of admission. 60 bucks US dollars to get into this place. Yeah. Uh, let me, I looked at the website. Here are some of the things that are not allowed in the dress code. Okay. Oh, there's, okay, there's a dress code. Uh, sunglasses, not allowed. Don't wear your sunglasses at night, even if your future looks so bright you have to wear shades. <laughs> uh, drunk customers. Oh, mm -mm. Crime organization member. So if you're a member of organized crime, do not go to the robot restaurant. Yakuza, not allowed. Tattoos, if you do have them, you are allowed to cover them. Okay, so well, Yakuza, so you'd have like this, the full you, body you tattoos. You have a few tattoos. I do, you'd I have, have to, to cover, cover those. them up. Okay, no, so I couldn't like, have an ankle tattoo out. Yeah, you'd have to, no ankles. Do Yikes. not show your ankles, Ashley. Okay. Uh, costume outfits and large wigs. Well, they don't want you to sneak into yeah. the show. That's yeah, what I know. think. It's, it'd be like one of those wacky rom-coms where they like, dress up to be in a show, and then it's like, they oh, we got costumes. Like It'll be like, they don't want that to happen. And then they're part of the show. Suddenly, they find themselves performing on stage. See, and then it's a slippery slope from there. You never know what they're up to. So we have so many things on our itinerary for when we do finally go to Japan. Oh, this bucket list, number one. This is right this here. This has moved right up to the top. Thank um, you. This reminds me of a restaurant. Look at this. That's I mean, a, come on. That's this a is, robot pterodactyl. I, okay, this is what I'm saying. I ate at a restaurant called T-Rex. Have you heard of this place? No. So I was in uh, Disney World down in Florida, and at D downtown Disney, they have this place called T-Rex, and it's just like this. It's like overstimulation for your brain. Um, there's so many sights and sounds. It looks just like that, except it's not like... There's nothing robotic in there. It's just a lot of dinosaurs. How have I not been to this place? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. There, there it is. I would like to go to all of these places. So T-Rex is probably the closest thing we have in America. It's a Rawr. mixture of T-Rex and Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, but man. the Japanese have the most fun with their places. Like, they just, they're like, look, we just want to have fun with life. Let's just make the craziest restaurant we've ever thought of. I, I agree. I think, yes, let's just go. In fact, we have to cut the show short. No, we can't. We can't. Nope. We can't, Rich. Nope. Sit. Stay? Sit back down. We okay. have to stay. We have to do the show for the fans. It's for okay. you guys. And then we'll go to Japan. Well, let's, we'll talk about, let's talk about future warfare. 
This is very interesting to me. Um, you had suggested this story, and I find this fascinating. Some of these videos are unbelievable. So cool. Uh, this British uh, aerospace kind of company, their contractor, set, released these crazy videos about concept aircraft that could be in use by 2040. So they're talking about carbon fiber nanotubes, and they've got uh, self-repairing, uh, you know, body. Like this is insane. So this is the this is the survivor, which is self-healing, and inside the the body wing has like some sort of like lightweight adhesive fluid. And okay. so when the when it gets damaged, I guess it like puts this fluid out, sh sprays, Releases. and then it you know dries really quick, and so it repairs the wing. Whoa. Okay, that's number one. Then they have the transformer. This is my favorite. This is the transformer. Watch this. This is so cool. Starts out as one, Looks but like then a slice of pizza. okay, so it so it flies overseas. Let's say as one. Okay. And then when it gets to the mission destination, now all of a sudden break off. Boom. Goes into three. And producer Logan brought up a good point. Are those unmanned like the other two? And the one guy flies the one, or are they all three manned? We're not we're not sure. I would imagine in the future unmanned aircraft is yeah. like that's really where it's going. So these are sort of maybe drones that and can then separate. Look at, and then it drops a huge bomb next to someone. No, it said it was goods. It said oh, it, was, was goods? it was aid. Okay. It was okay. like an aid package. Perfect. And the other ones are doing surveillance. Jeez, okay. Rich. Well, a big I don't know. bomb I mean, that didn't explode. I was, expect, I was like, wait a second. All of a sudden we're going to see this huge bomb next to this guy. That's kind of weird. Um, and then here's my other favorite, the Tornado 3D printer. As it's in flight, it has okay. a 3D printer in the plane, and it prints out tiny little drones. In That's, flight. I don't like that at all. That Come seems. On. Listen, what's going to happen when this becomes sentient? These are my concerns, all right? I joke around about a robot apocalypse a lot, but and I love robots, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, it's this is kind it of is scary. It's a little creepy. But 2040, I mean, who knows what our world's going to be like at I that point. I just can't imagine. But, I mean, these are all very viable kind of things. I mean, we have sort of yeah. the start of the technology. It's, it's just not, a matter of making it. It's not unrealistic. Yeah. Is what we're saying. I want, I want that self, uh, what the adhesive, the fluid. I yeah. want something like that for the human body, where it just, you know, you can inject something and it will release, uh, like cells that turn into skin. Ooh, like, like, and, like you, and you get to you. watch it. You get to see your yeah, skin. You get to watch your skin just heal yeah, up. Yeah, kind of like in a movie. It'd be like, blah, blah, blah. just like Wolverine. We could all be Wolverines, you guys. That would be amazing. Uh, and then, Less hair, though. A lie. Well, he has cool hair, though. Okay. Not like a pet Wolverine, but like Wolverine the X-Man. Oh, okay. That Wolverine. That Wolverine, like a cool Wolverine. Yeah, Hugh okay. Jackman Wolverine. Okay. Um, our last story today is for all of you beer aficionados. This is a very... Wait, wait, wait. I don't think you have to have... You don't have to be just a beer. Like, I appreciate technology, and I think this is a really cool story. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the Minnesota Twins target field now finally has something to celebrate. This is Rich said. Uh, they are getting a beer vending machine. Woohoo! And this is, uh, we both are fascinated by this, but we don't have a whole lot of video. We have some uh, websites that have reported okay, wait, on this. Okay, wait, we should, we should talk about we, we why talk they're, about okay, this. hold on. So this has been like the biggest story. You're in a all, news guy. I'm a news guy. We, this is like a huge story in the local town of Minnesota. Minnesota, I know it's a big city, but it's not that big. No of the local, basically ESPN did the story. Yeah. They took one picture of this machine and nobody else has actually gone to take a picture, a video of this machine. A video, a picture, a video, nothing. I mean, literally, why, are, why is nobody, if I, okay, as a local news person here in LA, I would have gone right, I would have seen this on a blog, I would have gone right over to the machine and tried it out. Like the burrito machine when that opened here in LA, all the news crews went and out. tried to get a burrito. Well, first of anyway. all, a burrito machine. Yeah. Everyone's going to be a burrito cool, machine. Yeah. But come on, it's a beer machine. So, How does this work? Very cool. So basically, it's called Draft Serve. That's the company that makes it. Okay. Uh, you get four beers to choose from. All right. And this is the neat thing. So they're saying, like, well, wait, minors can just drink beer. Walk no, they up. can't. Yeah, what about, like, if it's your 14-year-old no, no, trying no. to sneak a booze? No. He's like, oh, I'm going to get my draft <laughs> beer on. I'm going to use the Draft Serve because I know yeah. how to use technology. Yeah. No. Okay. You have to buy a little, like, prepaid card at the at the vending machine, which okay. they will, or at the, you know, cashier. They're going to okay. check your ID first. Uh -huh. You prepay uh -huh. it with a little bit of loaded value. Then you go to the machine, and at the draft serve, there's a person standing there, again, to check, make to sure you're legit. Check, check double check. Um, and then you can pour the beer by the ounce, which is really cool. Oh. So if you maybe just want a little taster, like Try. maybe there's a random brew on there. That, okay. You know, so like let me tell new, you the beers. Maybe like a micro brew, like well, a local yeah, micro brew. Okay, but... If you listen to the beers that are on there. These are like big brews. Okay. Bud and Bud Light, you probably don't need to taste a sample of those. Probably not. Ever. Uh, ever. 38 don't cents ever per drink ounce. Bud Light. It's gross. 38 cents per ounce. That's not bad. I mean, 16 times 38 is what? 16, 16 times 10. 4 is 32. 64, $6.40. Yeah, it's like six bucks. That's not bad. It's like six uh, bucks. Shock Top Lemon Shandy. I do like my Shock Top. I like that. Okay. Have you had that? 
I'm You're not a, a beer I'm person. I'm a beer drinker. Now, like, Goose Island 312. I'm a liquor girl. Whoa. I like the hard Ashley, stuff. Ashley. Learning Listen. about Ashley. Yeah. Uh, Goose Island 312. I went to Chicago. This was one of my favorite beers. Oh. And then I found out they were owned by Bud, too. So uh -huh. they're all like. Still, if it, I mean, if it's good, it's I, good. people like it. I, it seems like they have, a, at least they have a variety. At least it's not it, just yeah. one beer that they, you know, like a beer company sponsors it and they're like, only this beer. Only that's Bud it. Light. Yeah, only Bud Light. That's all you get. You can withdraw up to 48 ounces every 15 minutes. That's a lot of beer. <laughs> 48, that's four that's like beers. Wait, gulp. that's four beers. That's Hold on. That's a big gulp. That's four Wait, beers every 15 minutes. a customer, oh, well, if you're getting them for your friends, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, but what if you don't have any friends, you just go to the baseball game? Oh, that's, that'd be the saddest Same. baseball game ever. I mean, not if you're drinking four beers every 15 minutes. Well, no, that would be the most fun time. baseball game ever. But who's going to carry you out when you're sort of blacked out? That's true. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. The Minnesota Twins uh, baseball organization will not carry you out if you get blackout drunk. On so is this a good thing? Machine. Is this this is really a cool use of technology? I think it's cool. I think so. I think this is awesome. It's You know, lines during breaks and timeouts and everything at any sporting venue are a nightmare. And so if anything that can make me get through that, that line easier is a very good thing in my book. And of course, you know me, the least, the less I can talk to people and human in yeah. real life. The less Rich has to interact with a human being, the better the it better. is. So we are going to not interact with you for the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back to talk about new releases and your user feedback. Uh, so to take us out today, we are going to check out some robots dancing to Gangnam Style. <laughs> Welcome back to Tomorrow Daily. It is time for the second half of the show. And as we like to do on Tuesdays, we have our new releases. Mm -hmm. There's some good stuff coming out this week. Yeah, I'm excited for the, the G3. Yeah, the G3. Uh, but first, I, I have to talk about this. I'm maybe a little bit obsessed with this game. Like, maybe a lot obsessed with this game. Uh, the very first thing that is coming out this week is The Wolf Among Us has their fifth chapter coming out for iOS and Steam and Xbox and everywhere else that's available. It's going to be available this week on the 8th and the 10th, respectively. Um, but this is the final installment of this particular storyline, and it is absolutely fantastic if you've not played it. It is not for, uh, obviously, it's not for children. <laughs> it's mature. It's a very mature game. Uh, but it is, have you heard of this? Have you ever heard no, of this? No, but what do you call this style of? Like, I think this is very like cell, like it's almost like cell shaded, but okay. it's more realistic than say is, a Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Is this what the game looks like? Yes, like this, is, this is in-game footage. Okay, this that is all looks pretty cool, yeah. It's amazing. And so um, it's, it's the same company, Telltale Games, that does The okay. Walking Dead, oh, okay. The Walking Dead game. So if you've played that. Mm. How much is this game? Well, to buy all of the chapters, all five chapters, like twenty-five bucks. And what about like just the fifth chapter? Would it be like a dollar, seven dollars? Uh, I think it's like a couple bucks. Okay. But you'd you'd want to play all of the other chapters because it's a whole over. It's an arc. A story would I not arc. understand if you'd I just download? You'd have no idea oh, what was happening. I'd just be thrown into this game and it would. Yeah, make and sense. I think okay. I think it even just to even go forward in the story, you have to buy each uh, subsequent okay. chapter. But right. I usually Telltale after the fifth chapter is released, a lot of times they'll release the first chapter for free. Mm, so you can you always can... check that out and then. Get a Buy little taste. Rest. Yeah, get And a that's taste. available on all the platforms? Uh, pretty much. iOS, uh, you know, the PlayStation Network, like, it's available pretty much everywhere. Like, Steam, okay. uh, you can find it. It's The Wolf Among Us. It's so, so good. Uh, but, yeah, I just, I love it so much. I'm really enjoying it. So cool. tell me about the G3. All I right. haven't gotten to try it. Uh, well, I haven't either. I haven't gotten a you haven't, test you unit yet. No, unit. no, I have not gone hands-on with the G3, which is surprising because I should. So yeah. any day. I mean, it's coming out. LG. Um, yeah, come on, LG. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about the G3. It's got, you know, it's it's basically the successor to the G2, which I thought was a great phone. It's a good phone. I thought the. I what? don't know about those buttons on the back. Oh, okay, I agree. I do not like the buttons on the back, okay. and they of course they did the same thing with this phone. But um, I love. It, it's like a powerhouse Android phone. If you want the. It is a flagship. Like literally, they just throw the kitchen sink at this phone. It's got like the greatest battery. Like the G2 had like a such a big battery. This one has the same thing. Huge battery, huge screens, like 5.5 inches. Um, it's going to last all day, and yeah. it's got that laser focus. This is the thing I really want to know about because the camera it's so was fast. It was good on the G2. 
But I was like, well, but it's not, not great. Yeah, it wasn't enough to get me to use that phone. Mm -hmm. um, combined with the back buttons, and I'm sure it's like anything else. If you use the back buttons enough, you would get used to them. Yeah. Okay. I just never could in the time that I held the phone for like you know two or three weeks at a time. Right. Um, right. But anyway, I think the the 13 megapixel laser focus is really what I'm interested in because if the camera's good, this is a pretty nice device. I mean, I think that LG does a nice job on design. They yeah. They kind of make it look nice, and this one has more of a metallic feel to it or it look to it. It seems very clean. Like, Very I like clean. how clean the design is on it. And I also think, you know, you're saying, like, they kind of throw the kitchen sink at it. The thing I like about LG is that they always throw the kitchen sink at the hardware specs. Yes. It's never yeah, about exactly. software. Yeah. I mean, I do like the knock. Um, the knock-on. Yeah, knock-on yeah, knock on is delightful. Off. And then the, the three. Oh, that's wax on. Like, on. yeah, no, no, wax on, wax on. And then, and then the three swipe window where you can save, like, yeah, three windows. Yeah, I never I, really understood that as much. But, yeah, the knock-on, I think, is, is yeah. essential with a phone that has, you know, the back thing that I never got right, used to. Right, tap, tap. But I also found that they did a really good job at the software because some of the Android skins, now they're all kind of catching up. But, like, they had, like, Do Not Disturb. Like, a lot of these features yeah. that Apple had, you know, like, they, they kind of built in. They kind of integrated, in. right. Like, that the, makes sense. the blocked callers, like, all that kind of stuff that like Android, the, the stock Android doesn't have. Right. You know, you get a Nexus and it's like, wait, where's my do not disturb? Yeah. Not now L will have it. Yeah. They're integrating the baking and all they're this gonna stuff. They're going to have all that L. stuff in L, yeah. but right now. Um, but 200 really, bucks. 200 bucks. AT&T. AT&T exclusive? No, it's not. It's going to be out on all of them. Okay. You know, they want but for it. now, AT&T. For now, well, it's AT&T this week. I think T-Mobile next week. Okay. And then uh, Sprint and, you know, what's the other one? Maybe Verizon. Verizon. Maybe Verizon. Maybe Verizon. Mm. If they can make those deals. Yeah, if they can make those deals. But 200 bucks, and uh, you can get it later this week on AT&T if you're so inclined. Uh, it's time for your user feedback, which, you know, uh, I gave you a hashtag yesterday, hashtag TD Potato, and nobody responded. Zero. I didn't say anything. I, okay. I just did a lower but third. But see, this is what I said. I said that nobody cared about that story. Now, I don't think people didn't care. It's interesting. But it's But nobody cared enough selling. to like write in. Fair like enough. They didn't want to waste their... And here's the other thing. I guarantee there's people watching that are like, oh, I want to do the hashtag thing because I might be on the show. I don't want to waste my hashtag on that story. Oh, you know what? That's really... That's a good point. Yeah. I'll give you that. Because even some of the regulars didn't hashtag. That's true. That's true. That tells I, us something. We do have an email, though, uh, from Evan. And he says, hey, Ashley and Rich, he wanted, he wanted some advice. He said, my two-year contract for my Samsung Bright Side is coming to an end of August 1st of this year. I'm really looking forward to getting Apple's next iPhone. But as you may know, Apple's next rumored iPhone is supposed to hit stores this September. Do you think when my contract ends, I should just get an iPhone 5S or wait for the next iPhone? Thanks. Love your show a lot. Evan. What do you think? Uh, definitely go with the new one. Wow, well, I mean, you're, you're you're two months in that window wait. of two months. Just wait. Yeah, just wait. And Have other, patience, young Evan. And even if you decide, like, oh, I don't like the bigger screen size of the iPhone 6 or whatever. You can always. You will get a cheaper iPhone 5S once the 6 is released. Yeah. It's a very, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, no-brainer. Wait for the 6. Just, just, you've gone this long. I don't even know what the bright side is. I'll be honest. I have not heard of that one. Never it might be a European it. thing. I think so. Um, but just, just wait. Yeah, just you can hold on. Just hold on. You can do it, Evan. You can do it. Uh, and then lastly, our photographer of the day is Greg J. And he sent in this beautiful image and said, here's a photo I took with my Droid Razor Max HD of a setting sun in Maui. Oh, why do you have to do this to us? I would like to go to that place as well. There are so many places I would like to go. Really beautiful. I like seeing, uh, I love the diversity in devices. Device yes. diversity. What was that one? That, that was, was the a Droid, Droid Razor Max HD. Oh, and that's a really life. nice image. Yeah, right back. You need that battery life. So you're laying out on the beach all day. Now, he, I don't, we couldn't tell if you're from there or did, yeah. did he say he was uh, from he there? He didn't say. Okay, but anyway, beautiful place. Maui's probably one of my, if you're going to Hawaii, if you're watching in different places, probably the best place to start your yep. visit. I mean, Honolulu is like the most popular, but Maui's beautiful. I've never been to Maui. I went to Kona. I went to the Big Island. Kona's Hawaii. very nice too. I went to Big Island. Love it. It was great. Uh, but that's it for the show, you guys. That is it for the show. Uh, Rich is actually going to be out tomorrow and Thursday. But don't worry, I'm not gonna. You guys aren't gonna have to be subjected to be sitting here talking. Don't to you spoil it. You're not gonna say who minutes. it is, are I you? I am. I am. What? Oh, this is big. This You're is gonna, a big you guys deal. Are gonna, this is a treat, guys. Uh, somebody whose name rhymes with well, I'm just gonna say it. Tom Merritt is gonna be here tomorrow and Thursday. I'm gonna leave a little note under my chair. Leave a little note. Uh, he's gonna be here, and it's gonna be awesome, and you guys are gonna love it. And then Rich will be back on Monday. Um, so so bye. And no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, and your hashtag for the day today is hashtag TD restaurant. We want to hear what you are most looking forward to in the robot restaurant and what city you think that we should open in the U.S. or in your or in your country where the next robot restaurant should be opened and why. Because that's I, I want to know. We need one here. 
Uh, if you want to send in your photography, you can email us to tomorrow at cnet.com. Uh, you can also send in questions. Uh, we can't get to all of your emails, but we do read them. And, uh, and if you those find social us, networks. Yeah, get social on media. there. Uh, tomorrow Daily on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're super easy to find. And again, uh, Ashley and I are on our own personal Twitters. I'm Rich Demiro. And I'm Ashley Escada. And that's been Tomorrow Daily, you guys. Be good humans, and we'll see you tomorrow.